Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Angel and if you're new here, all I do is talk about books. For today's video, we are going to get a little bit negative because I have been reading a ton of books and realized that I have so many book icks that I just need to get out. So we're going to go through this long list of book icks. Some of these book icks either have to do with the physical book itself or we're going to dive right into what the book is about and how the authors wrote them. So yeah, it's going to get really messy really quick. The first bookish ick are half covers. Like why? Who came up with that idea that a half cover book looks good? I feel like it's easier to ruin your book because if you put it in your shelf, literally the half cover book goes and then it's ruined. So I don't know who came up with that. I hate it so much. It looks so, don't get me wrong. It looks nice, but it's not efficient. If you get what I'm saying. The next bookish ick is when there's stickers on the front cover, especially stickers that you cannot take off. Like, I don't care if it's going to be turned into a Netflix TV show. I've probably already seen it on social media. Like, I don't need the hassle of taking off the sticker. And especially when the sticker doesn't peel off all the way and there's like that little residue of like sticker left on there. It would be better if it wasn't there. And for the unremovable stickers, like, I don't know. It makes me want to cry because it looks so ugly. It ruins the book cover. I'm getting so sweaty just talking about it. The next bookish ick is when the book gets turned into like a movie or a TV show and then they switch the original book cover to their movie cover. For example, I'm okay with like the Summer I Turned Pretty book series covers now, but the after book covers? Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. I, that, I'm going to talk about that book cover again. So I'm just going to save that till when I talk about it. Another book ick is when the books are different sizes in the same series. I think it also correlates to when the author decides mid-series to publish their book with another publisher. So it's like the same cover, but like it's like different covers from like the original, like how it's supposed to look like, if that makes sense. I hate that the most because as a reader, I want all my books to look the same, all the same heights same spines everything same design cover but then when they switch publishers and decide to publish with another publisher and then the cover is like teensy weensy different but the spines are completely different so then now i have to buy like two full sets of different edition books that just that riles me up <laughs> and i know i'm not the only one because the only thing you can see on bookshelves are the spines. So as like a reader, you want it to look like organized and nicely put together and not like mix matched. Going back to after's book covers, my number one pet peeve that I hate the most out of this whole list is when there's people on the cover. Real people on the cover. Especially shirtless men. I always have to explain to people that the books that I'm reading that have shirtless men on the cover is not even about sex. It's not. It's really not. It's literally like enemies to lovers. They have sex like maybe like twice. These shirtless men on the book covers make it seem to be like some Fifty Shades of Grey. The Fifty Shades of Grey book covers don't even have shirtless men on the covers. And it's like literally one of the spiciest books out there. I don't know. I'm getting too riled up for this. I understand that the authors don't get a say on what goes on their book cover, but more of just like an idea and then they send it to their book cover designer. But come on, I don't know. It's 2023. We don't like shirtless men or real people on the covers. It looks cheap. It makes readers not want to read the book in public. Even if the book is so good, I would not bring it out into public. 
I'm not gonna have people make fun of me or have people stare at me weirdly because I have a shirtless man on the cover of my book. Like that's just so weird. It makes me uncomfortable. Like for example, one time I got a book sent to me and it was literally like a shirtless cowboy. And my sister-in-law, she saw me open the book and she was just like in shock. But I had explained to her that I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't know why they choose shirtless men. And that half of the books that I read are not like that. So I was like, I swear, I promise, it's not like that. I literally would go to Barnes and Noble and, and see the spine of the book and then pick it up and see that shirtless man or like real people on the cover and I just put it back, so. Another one of my bookish pet peeves are long chapters. I cannot do long chapters at all. It's like so dreadful to go through the chapter especially when the long chapters is about your least favorite character's point of view but i get that the long chapters are more of like world building and like they want to get more information out on that person's point of view but i think it's just so unnecessary like stick to the short chapters it keeps like the reader's attention more it's so sad to say but like i skim the most during long chapters my next bookish ick is is when the book is stiff literally it does not flop it's so stiff I think people call it brick books which I kind of get because it's literally like a brick so hard you cannot even like open the book you can't even read it without breaking the spine I hate breaking the spine it makes it look so bad afterwards and so worn down the next couple of bookish icks are going to be more about what's in the book rather than how it looks like so yeah it's gonna get interesting this bookish ick I feel like I just have to do a real hot take because I know a lot of people like it but I don't really like pet names the usual like baby is fine in the twisted series there's what is it sunshine princess red those are fine okay i know people like don't like those but like that's fine to me but the one pet name that i cannot do bleh, i can't with this pet name because it's so like cringy to me i can't stand it but when the male character calls his love interest, his queen. I feel like it's more common in fantasy books, but I read a ton of fantasy, so that gets brought up a lot. And like right when the guy calls her his queen, like I'm getting chills just thinking about it because it's so cringy to me. I don't know. It's just me. I think it's just me because I think everybody else thinks it's like hot. Like my husband would literally do it to me as a joke because he knows I hate it so much is when the characters are childish. So I have two different examples of childish characters that I mean. So the first example is going to be like when the character actually acted like a child. And then the other example is going to be where the characters miscommunicated like children. So the first example, I read this on Wattpad like a couple years ago. So you can't really expect much on Wattpad, but it was getting so much hype. Okay, so I was like, I'm going to read it and see what it's all about. Mm -mm. The female character was a literal child she was 18 19 whatever but the way she talked to people and like conveyed herself to like the world and like the love interest it was like a child like you know like the grumpy sunshine trope she was like the sunshine to the extreme like sunshine ditzy innocent she was too innocent that she was like a child if that makes sense i don't know how else to explain it but like how she thought, how she talked, how she acted was like a child. So I felt very uncomfortable and I could not finish that Wattpad story. And then the other example is when they're grown adults, literally like 40, but they miscommunicated like children. So I don't know. It was really unnecessary for them to act like children. And there was a kid involved too. And the kid was what? 
like 12, 13. And the kid was like giving them advice as if they were like a grown adult. So I think that just added on to that pet peeve in that book. So yeah. The next bookish ick is when they're supposed to be enemies to lovers, but they turn into lovers within like the first five chapters. I am usually one for like an insta love. I love love. So I don't completely hate every book trope, but this specific one where they're enemies to lovers and then they turn lovers within the first five chapters, I can't handle that because there's no pining and I want to see them banter, okay? Like, I want to see them banter like enemies. I feel like a book that was really well written as enemies to lovers was Twisted Hate. Twisted Hate is the third book in the Twisted series. You see that couple banter in the first two books and even like halfway through their book. You know they really hate each other and when they love, they're gonna love hard. So right when I read that they've fallen in love within the first five chapters, I don't even know how I feel about the rest of the book because it just makes me wonder like, what now? Like what else could this book be? about and that is the end of my bookish ick slash pet peeves i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know if you guys agree with any of these because i don't know i feel like some of them i'm alone but please let me know so i'm not alone and yeah so we can be friends and talk about it yeah until then bye I'm